hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to create tickets on HubSpot you see tickets is a very important aspect in HubSpot you know because it, it could actually help you to organize all of your customers inquiries in one place and track trends over time you see tickets can be created in various ways on hotspots for example you can create tickets by using the, um, the the ticket index page you can also create ticket through the the contact record and also you can create tickets uh, by um, that is through the conversation inbox okay with uh, with, with, with the clients okay so now what we we'll do when we want to create a ticket so let us look at the first uh, the first method which we talked about using the ticket index page all right so the ticket index page is actually embedded here on services so you see here you see tickets all right on service ticket click on the ticket okay so then you can now create tickets Okay, so you can go ahead. You can you can actually add the ticket name. Okay, so let's just let's go ahead and, and do that. Insert infested 50 kg bag of rice. Okay, so we have support pipeline. So it's a support support pipeline. Okay. So then ticket status new. Okay, it's a new. Okay, then we have um, ticket description okay ticket description so this is the ticket description source okay so so the source how did she reach out to you is it through a chat through email through form through phone call so let's say email through email ticket owner i am the ticket owner then priority so let's give this a high priority because if not, if we don't tackle this on time, it would actually bring about, um, it will actually um, dent our reputation. So we go ahead and give it a high priority so that you can attend to it on time. So create date. So let's say, okay, this date. Now, at this point, now we are going to associate the ticket with a contact. Okay, so we go ahead and associate it with a contact. Okay, let us use. Um, let's use this so this is the contact okay so our timeline activity for Nora we need to take it okay then the company you can also add a company okay if, if, if it's under a company you can also add a company then we'll go ahead and create the tickets Okay, so create tickets. Now, the ticket has been created successfully. Okay, so we can go ahead and do other things like, um, can go ahead and add a note. In case we are to assign this ticket to probably another person, so that um, the person would actually do a very good follow-up, treat as urgent. Okay, save notes. We've added the notes, so we save the notes. So we can actually create an email. We can we can do a phone call. So Create the customer, then task, we can create a task, then yeah, we can schedule a meeting. Okay, we can schedule a meeting with the clients. Okay, so connect your calendar. Okay, so we have the option of Gmail, Microsoft. So, uh, you know, we are not using the paid version, so we could actually incorporate a uh, uh, good um, uh, calendar. But well, you know it's not here now, so we are using the free version. So the ones they make available to us are the ones that we use. So this is Google, Google Calendar. Then we'll go ahead and 
connect your calendar for the first time accept and connect to google so for the first time you have to pass through this process okay allow okay so calendar is connected here the meeting so we can actually schedule a meeting so we can schedule a meeting okay you can see this is okay so we can actually schedule a meeting clicking the schedule meeting so then you can see um i i cannot log in you know um I, i'm the host now i cannot log in so i have to unlock you can see unlock and cuffs so how to unlock how to upgrade okay how to unlock it by upgrading all right so it's actually supports okay so so this is the date this is i can't i can edit this i can edit this okay the date and the time okay then i can also go ahead to select location okay i can say uh let us say phone call via phone call the location okay then i can also add a reminder I'm actually add a reminder three days before okay so let's say three days before it's a reminder then the meeting description i could actually write the meeting description here okay the description so now now the attendees for the meeting the attendees for the meeting i also have to feel that um the phone call schedule reminder attendees for the meeting yeah so myself and and this person this is the customer okay okay so then i say okay so so so, so it's so it's it's been saved so my the customer so it's been saved so the meeting has been um scheduled so another way of another way of um creating uh, you know the ticket i told you is by the contact record so you go to your contacts okay you go to your contact then you select the customer that you want to actually um, create a ticket for so let's say this customer wants to create a ticket for this customer we click on the customer's name Okay, so here is the customer. So what do we do? We come to the right hand side. Here you can see create you can see tickets one. There's already one ticket here. We did one, just just one we did just now. Okay, so we want to add a ticket. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add ticket name. Okay, so let's also have this as another ticket. Um spoiled stockfish as a ticket name. Okay, so for pipeline. It's a new ticket, new status, description, and source. You can say phone call. So ticket owner, I am the ticket owner. So priority. Okay, let's give it also. Um, let's give it a medium priority. Then dates. We go ahead and impute the dates. Okay. So we have this. You can see. You can see just like the one we did initially. So you see this one is already there so we don't need to we don't need to do this anymore so then we go ahead and um, create your ticket was created okay so the same the same way we can go ahead and add notes or you know create an email call task and uh, meetings um, schedule we can schedule a meeting here then we can also go ahead and and what now log a meeting you can log a call you can log whatsapp message you can log sms and the rest of them okay so this the same process when you pass through this particular channel as well to do um, the ticket creation then we can also go ahead to apply the third method the third method is um your conversation inbox okay so you get you get that on conversations click on conversations click on inbox so for the first time for the first time we we'll get this 
so that's it. Okay. okay. So now, if we have, if we have an inbox here, probably incorporated, uh, probably a mail here where we can get a message. You know, like you can connect your first channel, start bringing questions to your inbox. So we can connect our WhatsApp. If this is locked, you can see. Then Facebook Messenger is open. Forms through forms, charts through Teams. So if we've had, if we have received any message, probably via WhatsApp. Let's say, for example, for example our WhatsApp is actually incorporated to our hotspot. Then we we'll, we'll have a message from the customer. From that in, that conversation, we can actually go ahead and create a ticket. But you can see this is a fresh account. We have no conversation already. So, but if we have an account where we have conversations through the conversation we can actually go ahead and create um, a ticket okay so this is how ticket is being created on our spots i hope you understand now we can also go ahead to edit the ticket so how do we edit tickets so the same process okay for example let's say we want to go through the um through the what you call through the ticket index uh, page which is on services then tickets So, so we have here two tickets. So we want to edit this ticket, okay? Now you see, we click on the ticket. You can see, you can highlight the ticket. You see, I just highlighted the ticket. Highlight, then I can see edit. You can go ahead and edit this ticket, okay? So select property to edit. So I can now say, uh, the creation, the create date, the close date. Yeah, I can choose whatever I want to edit. The pipeline, the ticket status, resolution, category, I can, Choose whatever I want to ticket. Um, I want to edit ticket owner. I want to edit the source. I want to edit, edit the ticket description, ticket name. I can go ahead and edit the ticket. So this is how to edit ticket. Then I can also assign the ticket as well to somebody else. Probably I won't be around or something. Probably I'm on, I'll be on leave or something. I still click on it. The same thing. I go ahead and click on assign. Okay. I go ahead and assign. Okay. Then. You would assign one record. So now you can see ticket owner. Now this assign now I have just myself as the ticket owner. So because there are no other ticket owners owners apart from me. So if I have other persons in this workspace, okay, I can go ahead now and you know I can go ahead and also what now um, assign it to another person who is not a customer, a person who is also a team member to go ahead and, and you know and work on the ticket. Okay, so this is how to assign um, tickets. Then um we have we can also create task in the in the same ticket so we can see we can create task in that ticket we can also go ahead to delete the ticket okay so we can come here and delete the ticket so this is it about ticket creation ticket editing ticket um you know assigning then deleting a ticket finally so i hope you understand um the process and i hope this video helps if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and also um, hit the like button if the video was impactful. Thanks for watching.